Hi there, this is Sir Joven and welcome to our another math lesson. In this video, we are going to discuss about addition and subtraction of fractions using the different methods. Next is addition of the similar fractions. Paano naman mag-add kung magkaiba ang denominators ng mga fractions? Halimbawa, 1 fourth plus 5 six is equal to. So maraming paraan sa pag-add ng mga dissimilar fractions. Isa na dito ay ang paggamit ng kanilang LCD. To add dissimilar fractions, we need to find first their LCD. Ang LCD, in other words, ay siya LCM or least common multiple ng ating mga denominators. So sa ating given, ang mga denominators natin dyan ay 4 at saka 6. At ang kanilang LCM or LCD ay 12. Next step, rename them to similar fractions. So to rename them to similar fractions, we are going to divide the LCD by the denominators of each fraction. So first, we divide natin ang 12 by uh, the denominator of the first fraction, which is 4. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then, we are going to multiply the result by the numerator, which is 1. So 3 times 1, we get 3. Susulat natin ang sagot sa itaas ng ating fraction bar. And then, I-divide natin ulit ang 12 by the denominator of another fraction, which is 6. So, 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. Then, we are going to multiply the result with the numerator, which is 5. So, 2 times 5, that's equal to 10. So, at that point, similar fractions na yan sila. Next step. Add as in adding similar fractions and reduce the answer to the lowest term if possible. So since similar fractions na sila, pwede na natin silang i-simplify. So 3 plus 10, that is equal to 13. And then copy their common denominator which is 12. And now, since ang ating numerator ay mas malaki pa kaysa sa ating denominator, kailangan natin silang isimplify. So, if we are going to divide 13 by 12, we will get 1 and a remainder of 1. So, our final answer is 1 and 1 over 12 or 1 and 1 12. Another way to add the similar fractions is by using the butterfly method. Paano naman itong butterfly method? So, halimbawa, ang ating given ay 1 fourth plus 5 six. So, una natin gagawin ay i-cross multiply natin ang numerator ng ating unang fraction sa denominator ng ating second fraction. So, that's equal to 1 times 6. Sunod, copy the operation. That's addition. Sunod, i-multiply naman natin ang numerator ng ating second fraction sa denominator ng ating first fraction. So that's equal to 4 times 5. Next, i-multiply natin ang ating mga denominators. So that's equal to 4 times 6. And now, pwede na natin i-simplify ang ating mga operations. So 1 times 6, that equal to 6, plus... 4 times 5, that's equal to 20. Then, sa denominator, 4 times 6, that's equal to 24. So, nod, simplify. 20 plus 6, that's equal to 26. Then, copy the denominator, which is 24. Since 26 and 24 ay may common divisor pa, so pwede pa natin yan silang ma-reduced into lowest term. So, we are going to divide them by 2. 26 divided by 2, that's equal to 13. While 24 divided by 2, that's equal to 12. 
So our answer is 13 over 12 or 1 and 1 12. Paano naman mag-subtract ng mga dissimilar fractions? So, kagaya ng addition of dissimilar fractions, pwede rin natin gamitin ang LCD at saka ang butterfly method. So, una, by using the LCD. So, for example, our given is 5 ninths minus 1 third. So, to subtract dissimilar fractions, we need to find first their LCD. Again, ang LCD ay sharing LCM ng ating mga denominators. So, sa ating given, ang denominators ay 9 at saka sa 3. At ang kanilang LCM or LCD ay 9. Next step, we are going to rename them to similar fractions. So, para ma-rename sila into similar fractions, kailangan natin i-divide ang kanilang LCD by their denominators. So, una, ang 9, i-divide natin sa denominator ng unang fraction, which is 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. And then, multiply the result to the numerator, which is 5. So, 1 times 5, we get 5. Sulat ang sagot sa itaas na fraction bar. Next step, Divide 9 by the denominator of the second fraction, which is 3. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And then, multiply ang sagot sa numerator, which is 1. So, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And at that point, uh, similar fractions na yan sila. So, we can proceed to the next step. Subtract as in subtracting similar fractions. So, 5 minus 3, that's equal to 2. Then, copy the common denominator, which is 9. And lastly, reduce the answer to the lowest term if possible. So, mayroon pa ba ang common numbers na pwede makapag-divide sa 2 at sa 9? I guess, wala na. So, that's, that's the final answer. Therefore, 5 ninths minus 1 third is equal to 2 ninths. Next, uh, we are going to try to find the difference between 5 ninths and 1 third by using the butterfly method. So, una, multiply natin ang numerator ng ating first fraction sa denominator ng ating second fraction. So, that's 5 times 3. Next, copy the operation. That's minus. Then, multiply the denominator of our first fraction with the numerator of our second fraction. So, that's 9 times 1. For the denominator, we are going to multiply the two denominators. So, that's 9 times 3. Now, we can simplify the operations. 5 times 3, that's 15. Bring down the operation. 9 times 1, that's 9. For the denominator, 9 times 3, that's equal to 27. Next, 15 minus 9, that's equal to 6. Then, copy their common denominator, which is 27. So, 6 and 27 can be reduced to the lowest term by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by their greatest common factor, which is 3. So 6 divided by 3, that's equal to 2, while 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, 5 ninths minus 1 third is equal to 2 ninths.